Hi guys, what happens when I get bored? I start making stuff. So, what I am creating right here, um, this is going to be a purse. So, these are the two front sides that um, that goes over the top of the purse. So, what I did, I created the zipper and got a yellow zipper. So, I'm adding yellow paint to the purse. So just to kind of give it more definition. And this will match that jean hat that I made. So that's what I'm working on. When you get bored, I told you I like the paint. I like to do stuff. And this is fabric paint. Um, got it off of Amazon. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. So, yeah, sometimes TV just don't do it. I'm like, ah gonna make something so I I have this hat that's this color and I'm like oh it'd be nice to make a purse to go with this hat so this is the base of the purse so I just put the two pieces together for the zipper that's gonna zip up so that's what I'm doing I hope y'all 4th of July is going well it's raining so, I'm not for sure if they're going to do the fireworks because it's raining really bad. So, I just wanted to check in and kind of show y'all kind of what I'm doing. So, this one is, I added interface into it and you see those lines. So, I'm actually going to like kind of follow that pattern. So, the interfacing gives it like a... Almost like y'all know what a cooking glove when you add interface into a cooking glove, kind of like that. So, I hope y'all fourth is going well and just behind the scenes, just working on this. So, I'll talk to you guys later. And this is the base of the purse. So, I see you guys later. And these is recycled jeans. So I recycle jeans and I didn't recycle this twice. This was a pair of shorts that I made. Like I took the jeans, cut them up and made them shorts. Now I took it a loose and making a purse because I didn't like the shorts no more. So this is a second revamp of something I made. Okay then. Toodles. So as you can see, it's like a puzzle. These is the two sides that's the bottom of the purse okay and this will be the top of the purse when i connect it all together so you see it's like a puzzle it's like putting together a puzzle you see that this is gonna sew to that side this side is gonna sew to this side and then we're gonna connect the bottom you see that it's like a puzzle everything you put together like a puzzle but we got to let these pieces dry got to let these pieces dry so when these pieces wind up drying then i start to connect them and different things like this so this is the two sides and the bottom and this is the top with the zipper in it and these is the two um can't even talk the the two purse thing so yeah it's just like a puzzle so we gotta let this dry though alrighty toos. okay so the more custom you make your bag the better so when your bag is uh, you know not sewn together this is when you want to kind of do all of your little things to it when a bag is not put together so y'all know that I'm doing this one to match that yellow hat denim hat that I made so I'm just adding more details to it I was looking at an interview with Carly's uh, designer and they was just asking him I can't remember verbatim you know what he said so I'm just adding some of the bandana pieces to it so once it's stitched together and then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm go over all the pieces and show y'all how to put this together I'm just doing all the base pieces and stuff like that because I'm bored. But uh, tomorrow, I'm going to show y'all how to create your own pattern and make this. Um, so I'm just kind of bored and just sewing, putting some stuff together. Just something to 
kind of do. But he was just saying that um, don't be afraid to like put yourself out there, you know, when you designing and stuff like that. And, you know, um, put your styles out there. Sometimes you're not going to get everybody to like your stuff. And, you know, when you when you you know, when you get ready, uh, reach out, you know, what I mean, reach out to some people. And so, yeah, this is the base of the purse. So I'm starting to like assemble, just add little stuff to it before I put it together because it's going to match. It is going to match that hat like perfectly. So I'm just randomly adding my bandana pieces to, to the bag. No special way or nothing like that. I'm just doing some random stuff to it. Um, yeah, I'm just doing some random to it. So, yeah, you kind of design kind of the way you're feeling. You know, if you're feeling something, then you do it. If you're not, then you don't. So, that's kind of what I do. I just kind of feel something, and then I just go with it. And I was, and that's what he said, too. He said that some of his stuff that probably was out there the most, meaning that, you know, that he himself wasn't too pleased with it. When he put it out to the world, they loved it. So just you when you're doing into fashion just go just go don't be afraid to put your stuff out there and you know like i said i understand that everything i make does not look good on me i understand that but you know right now i'm not seeking to get models and you know hey put this on and you know because sometimes a lot of times when you do the model things you know you got to pay for that you know, you got to pay to, um, you got to pay to have the model to wear your stuff. So, you know, if you're not at that level yet. That's like unnecessary money that you're kind of giving away. So, um, I always do walking advertisement for myself. You know, I put my own stuff on and, and I wear it. I advertise it. So, I'm just randomly adding scarf material to the purse. Just randomly putting it to the purse, different different places, because remember the hat that I made has the bandana going around. So I'm just cr trying to pretty much almost, you know, make the purse kind of like, you know, they, they, there'll be a couple. So when I wear it, I wear them together. But yeah, just don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Put yourself out there and just do it. Just do it. Don't be afraid. Just like, you know what? I'm going to try it. So it's better to work on your bag when it's open like this. When you have it open, you can add all your stuff to it before you assemble it together. I just got the bottom and the sides, but it's not assembled together. So it's easier for you to, you know, put stuff on it, you know, doing your painting or whatever it is that you want to do. So I'm just randomly adding uh, some scarf stuff to the bag. That's it. And, uh, yeah, just randomly adding stuff to it so to match up with the, with my other. So I'm just kind of, kind of see kind of where I want it. If I want it, you know, where I would want it. Mm, I don't know if I want it there. So, yeah, so just, just kind of play around with it and just kind of get, you know, just do, just do something wow. Just do, yeah, just do something wild. So that's that's all I'm doing. I'm just playing around with it. Just thinking outside of the box. Like, you know what, let me try this. Let me, you know. So that's what I'm doing. So if y'all remember the hat, but when I put it all together and try it on for y'all, I put it on together as a set so y'all will see kind of where I'm, where I'm going with this. Alrighty, so I'll show y'all tomorrow how to make the base to the purse, how to make your pattern. So we'll go over making a pattern and then you just put it together. Alrighty guys, talk to y'all later. Toodles.